back. How many of you have seen Trump's latest tweet? Now, look, it's no kafefe moment, but it's not going to surprise you to know that it's gotten a lot of people talking. Here's what he tweeted. He wrote, Time Magazine called to say that I was probably going to be named man person of the year like last year, but I would have to agree to an interview and a major photo shoot. I said probably is no good and took a pass. Thanks anyway. Okay, so President Trump is letting it known that he doesn't want to be Time's person of the year again. But the assertion that he was called about it, that has now been disputed by Time Magazine. Look at this, they responded tweeting, the president is incorrect about how we choose person of the year. Time does not comment on our choice until publication, which is December 6th. Okay, so what's the story with this? Who knows? But we do know that Trump does have a history with the magazine. Trump was named Time's Person of the Year last year in 2016 following his election win. And before that, though, he has gone to bat with them. For instance, in 2015, he took issue when Time picked German Chancellor Angela Merkel over him. And then, of course, there's the reports from earlier this year that a fake cover of the magazine with Trump on it hung from at least five of Trump's private clubs. And we posted about Trump's tweet on our Facebook page. Many of you weighed in. Alex Vosico wrote, I find it very hard to believe he would decline a Time magazine cover, especially since he was caught hanging fake Time covers with his golf clubs with him on the cover. And then there's Darwin Gross, who didn't seem to mind. He wrote, he is absolutely the man of the year. Thank you, sir, for caring about America first. Hashtag MAGA. I want to know your thoughts and also who you think should be person of the year. Let me know on my Facebook page, Liz Kreutz News.